build out a crazy pony tiny whoop racing drone. Uh, it's going to have first person view camera system. Uh, it'll have uh, their special sauce high speed motors. It'll be based on the crazy pony tiny whoop brain, uh, frame which is um, specially suited for their battery system and uh, includes um, props that are uh, performance. So we'll see how goes and gives it a test. The flight controller is a Fury B uh, that is um, using an FR Sky radio transmitter. Um, it has an open source uh, flight protocol so that uh, we can modify it if we don't like the flight, flight performance. Um, we're using a, a FPV camera with a 40 channel transmitter. 200 megahertz, I'm sorry, 200 um, milliwatt range. Uh, the uh, You can also use and build out something similar using um, a Fury B F36, uh, an Isheen uh, E10, um, or the JJH or, uh, JJRC H36, or um, an Inductrix Tiny Whoop. Um, so anyway, we'll start with opening up this Crazy Pony frame kit. This piece is made out of foam entirely. I believe it's to hold. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the battery system. I actually made something similar to this in another video for uh, the Ishino 10, and um, and it works great. These batteries allow you to do all the maneuvering and still stay uh, flying without dropping out of the sky. It's a big difference, and also you get about double the flight times. So I, I do like that. This is uh, one of their speed chargers. I made a jig for you. You'll see that in another video. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this piece aside. Flash over here. Uh, we've got props. Put those aside. And we have the frame. Alright, I can tell already that this frame's got a little bit more mass to it. You can see a little bit more mass around the engine, the motor mounts. It still has the channels. I would love to have seen someone come up with a solid design right here, but it has the channels for routing the wires through. Um, looks like some of the similar vulnerabilities you'll see in a JJRC frame in that respect. Not bad though. Uh, it does have. It does look similar. In, in other than the battery, and maybe a little bit more mass around the engine support. I did see that they've got some rings in the uh, in the motor kit. So we'll see how that works out. Incidentally, these motors do have the plugs on them. I'll go ahead and open that now. These are the special sauce by Crazy Pony. So they're, uh, I don't have the exact specs. Maybe I can put that in under, under. Okay, so you can see these rings are designed to, to go around the motor and the mount in case there's I guess in case the motor mount loosens up. I, I've generally not had that problem. I'm sorry, I'm putting that in backwards. Uh, but it did it did feel stiff. We'll go ahead and assemble that in a few minutes. I don't want to go ahead and rush anything. 
this is uh, the body. Um, it's a special camera mount body. I believe that's what's in here. Yes. So, uh, Crazy Pony makes these neat little lightweight frames. You can see here's one that's clear that's really neat. That way you can see what's going on inside. And so that way you can put your camera right there and, and uh, you're locked and loaded. So you don't need to mess with your body. And, like I said, we'll be using these, um, I believe they call this the Fury V F3 flight controller. And I think there's a selection of FR Sky and DSRM, DSM style. in the FR Sky version, obviously. Tiny. Good thing I have some magnifying glasses here that I will be using to, uh, to solder this to. Now, some people did produce some excellent videos. Thankfully, the motors all use plugs. So all we have to do is solder the power connection. I hope that's what that is. I think that's negative though, and that's positive. Now I can see it at a distance, negative and positive. I have seen someone else make a great video on how to do this, so I learned already. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to need to credit you and put you in the link. Uh, so that I understand that that's your synchronization switch when you play control bind switch they call it anyway I know I spent a long time looking at that I just wanted to make sure you got a good shot 3 volts that's your S bus connector that's what this is this is an S bus connector right here so that's an F S bus, negative, positive, motors, then down here, plus 5, minus 5, I believe, I'm going to have to have my glasses on for that, I, I like these two. If you like me, uh, you've got a choice of cameras, um, or at least uh, you will if you go on to Amazon.com and shop for FPV camera. The uh, Crazy Pony store is a particularly good one. That's, I believe, where most of these, if not all of these, came from. Um, let me talk about some of them and what the benefits might be. Uh, uh, from right to left, uh, we have a detached camera and 5.8 gigahertz transmitter it's a 40 channel uh, it's a good choice because 200 milliwatts and that'll get you out that 200 meters that this flight controller will do however it's probably not the best choice because of its weight I believe this thing weighed in around uh, 16 grams I think it was. it was it was quite heavy with the antenna all right, the next choice is um, a detached camera and transmitter that's a lot smaller. And this is actually a pretty good choice because you can actually mate it together and get it to work like this. And that will go into that area there. Uh, another choice would be... Um, something like this, which is a, another 200 milliwatt, uh, so it's about as powerful as this guy. Um, however, uh, it's a bit wider, and it has some weight to it. Um, but I like that camera. 
uh, and I have used it on um, some of these machines before, but it doesn't happen to fit into this into this uh, fitting here. So the best choice would be this 25, I believe it's a 25 milliwatt, um, and I've had some good success with this. It's actually got some usage on it, you can see. I, um, I sprayed this with some uh, waterproof oil spray. Uh, if you Google that, there's some nano spray, I believe it's called, and uh, it survived the spraying of that. I have a swimming pool here, so I was practicing, and I wanted to make sure it would survive, and it does. It actually works. Um, anyway, so uh, this little crazy pony does fit in there really, really nicely. So I'm going to go with this one, because we've got our combination transmitter and video. If the 25 milliwatts doesn't work, I'll slide up to the 200 and just strap this on with a wire tie. However, I'm hoping this one will work. So we can go ahead and give it a go. Plug this in here. If you ever have a short or whatever, you, you, you gotta obviously pull it out right away. My eyes are so slow. Okay. Apparently, I've done everything correct. Which is nice. And so that looks good. We'll go ahead and bolt it up and give it a test. I'm putting that antenna wire through the antenna hole. And I'll need like a little pin or something to be able to access the bind button. screw holder. The only problem is they can demagnetize your screwdrivers in a jiffy. Look at that. Instantly demagnetized. You run it the wrong way. And they demagnetize your screwdriver and then they, you run it up and down. So don't, if you run it down the motor it demagnetizes. If you run it up your motor, it'll magnetize it. Okay, there you have it. One tiny whoop by Crazy Pony.